House of the Dragons premiered last night. I watched it. I enjoyed it. I think it's an excellent start to the prequel series for Game of Thrones. I'll be reviewing the first episode with Angelus Draven very soon. But today, we're going to talk about the producers of House of the Dragon, them, and their message that they already have an ending in place for their show, which is something that Benioff and Weiss did not have with Game of Thrones. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the video. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're discussing Game of Thrones, the spin-off House of the Dragon. It premiered last night. We're going to be reviewing every episode here on the channel. Angelus Draven and I are going to team up on the first one. That'll be out within a day or so. It'll be available first for channel members and then the next day to the public. Here we go. We're on movieweb.com. I enjoyed the premiere. I thought it was good. Uh, despite the ending to Game of Thrones, the, you know, the, the first series, the prequel, House of the Dragon, set 200 years before, uh, focuses on the Targaryens. And I, I enjoyed the first episode. Even the human Easter Island statue himself, Matt Smith, uh, kind of, it, it's funny because I think they're trying to go for a Jamie Lannister type with him. And I, I, don't, I don't know if he's the same caliber as, and, and the, name who, the name of the actor who played Jamie Lannister eludes me at the moment. But, I, you know, I get that kind of vibe already from him. But... Let's go on with this article because House of the Dragon producers already have an ending planned, which is very good for them as compared to what happened to Benioff and Weiss with the main series, how season eight shit the bed. And yeah, let's see what we have here. House of the Dragon has much to prove as the first spinoff series from Game of Thrones. But one thing that seems to already be in place is an ending. This came out 12 hours ago by Anthony Lund. We haven't been over on MovieWeb for a while. I figured with this being relevant in the zeitgeist, we covered this this morning. If there is one thing guaranteed to cause an argument, it is commenting on how Game of Thrones ended compared to how it could have ended. When it comes to the prequel series, House of the Dragon... It appears that the ending is already written in stone according to the show's creators. It is over a decade since Game of Thrones first hit screens and now the first spin-off from the epic fantasy series is here and will tell the story of the Targaryens centuries before the events of the original story. The new series, as its predecessor, has its base firmly in the works of author George R.R. R. Martin, whose Fire and Blood novel was published in 2018 and details the Dance of Dragons Civil War that tore the Targaryens apart. And the first season of the show will be focusing on the decades leading up to that war. Of course, there are plenty of references to thrones within the story, but being set so far in the past, don't expect any characters from the original Targaryen family to appear. First of all, I'm noticing a lot of spelling errors in this, so their editors are not doing a very good job if they even have any. Second of all, the ending of Game of Thrones, uh, you know, very controversial. I watched the entire series after it ended. I did watch some reviews leading up to it, so I already knew how it was going to end while I was watching it. It was the journey of getting there. And I've watched the series twice now. I really enjoy it. I want to read the books. Uh, the wife's reading the first one now. I'm going to read it after she's done. So this, uh, this, this series is interesting. Because they do reference, I picked up a lot of references, which is why I want to watch it again um, before I, I do my review with Angelus Draven. Because there's a lot of name drops during um, the appointment of uh, the young Targaryen girl as heir to uh, Viserys, her dad, who's the king. Um, so I, there, I noticed a Stark, uh, a Baratheon, and there was a... Um, there was another name in there that I, I, I eludes me at the moment, but so there are a lot of references, and, and it's more so than that. But and it's funny because you see uh, the king; he pokes himself on the throne. He's got that uh, wound on his back, and he pokes his hand. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is going to eventually lead to his his death because they said the wound wouldn't heal, and they're ready to try to cauterize it. So I'm sure that'll play in somewhere down the line in the near future. 
In an interview with comicbook.com, House of the Dragon executive producer Miguel uh, Sapochnik, Sapochnik explained the series has a place in the middle of the bigger story, which has a lot of scope, but they already know exactly what the end of the series will be. He said, we have a very, very precise idea of where we want to go with it, but we can't tell you. I think the important thing is that this is a... Think of this as episode four, the Star Wars episode four. So he's speaking, of course, of A New Hope. So it's kind of, we're in the middle of a history that is rich and full of stories to tell, and it's a good place to start. And right here it says, you know, related article, House of the Dragon showrunners already have season two mapped out, which is a good thing. Uh, I, I like that they already have an ending in place for this show. Uh, it'll avoid the Pratt Falls of the first series of Game of Thrones. House of Dragon will want to avoid the controversy of Game of Thrones ending. Well, that's a very, very uh, obvious statement, but okay. Even now, the subject of the ending of Game of Thrones is still a hugely controversial subject, with Martin having still to release his last two volumes of the story and give fans his ending to the story. There are many who expect that ending. When it finally arrives, we'll give them a very different ending to the one the TV show provided. However, we will never really know whether that ending will be exactly as Martin always planned it or if it will have been tweaked. A little in response of public opinion to the show. One thing that seems certain, though, is that House of the Dragon has its ending very much prepared well in advance and will hope to avoid the issues of its predecessor. Which is a absolutely, uh, that's a smart move. That, that's, playing it, that's playing it very smart. You don't want to go in and then have to figure it out along the way because you really don't have that benefit being as how far in advance they have to film this show. You know, if it was a week to week thing where you're filming it, you know, in between airings, uh, you know, that's that's one thing. You can't do that with a show with this scope though. You can't feed off the audience and, and know what they like and what they don't like. So, yeah, that uh, that that's that's an issue with shows like this, but at the same time, if you tell a good story to begin with, and you have, you know, all your all your ducks in a row, the audience is going to enjoy it anyway. So that there's, you know, two schools of thought there. For now, though, we are only in the very early stages of House of the Dragon story, and there have been, has been no indications of exactly how many seasons we will get. Much will depend on how fans buy into this new edition of the franchise, and that could also impact the other prequel shows that are currently in various stages of development at HBO. The cast of these series includes Jefferson Hall, Patty Considine, uh, Eve Best, Gavin Spokes, Graham McTavish, Steve Toussaint, Olivia Cook, uh, Sonoya Mizuno, Bill Patterson, Matthew Needham, Emma Darcy, uh, Riss Eifens, David Hor Hordovich, uh, and Matt Smith, of course, the human Easter Island statue. So it premiered last night on HBO Max. Did you catch the premiere last night? What did you think of it? I already heard and saw some complaints online about certain members of the cast, and now I, I think it's important to see where they're going with these characters in this story. Honestly, um, it doesn't make sense to come in and, and use uh, Game of Thrones as a barometer for this because you've got completely different showrunners. It's you know so so that is going for this show. And I didn't see any indications of it being woke, uh, as it were, last night. You know, the king named his daughter the heir to his throne. She's the most logical heir, more so than his brother at this point. So I, I think that's all going to play into the storyline, obviously, is Matt Smith is, he's not, I mean, he looks like kind of a tweener now, but you can see those heel tendencies, if you know what I mean. Like I said, I, I believe it's going to run uh, a morally uh, similar code to maybe what Jamie Lannister did, but we'll we'll see. Obviously, different family. These are Targaryens, and it was nice to see the uh, you know King's Landing again. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll see where this show goes. What did you guys think? Did you watch the premiere? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. If today's the day I've earned it, slap the subscribe button. Ding the bell for notifications. And of course, as I said before, leave your thoughts in the comments below and share the video if possible. 
there's memberships available. You'll hear about that at the end of the video where I thank my channel members, my amazing Kazooians and Harvey Wakuian producers. I'm Ita Pukui to the Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, do you want to send us stuff? Because this is how you send us stuff. We have a P.O. Box now. That's right. P.O. Box 924, Prudenville, Michigan, 48657. If you have anything you'd like to send in to the place to be reviews, that's where it goes, and that's where your packages will be coming from as well when I ship things out to you, my Kazooians. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I could do this all.